by baking cupcakes and cakes. My sister and I raised $35,000 to renovate a maternity ward in the Democratic Republic of Congo. And so Samaritan's Purse decided to send us on a missions trip to witness the dedication of it. All this started with me, my sister, and my mom in the kitchen, but now it has snowballed into this huge adventure. Well, I'd never been out of the country before, and I knew that it was gonna be a really long flight. I went through the night, which it's kind of hard to sleep on a plane, but it was uh, a lot better than I expected. <laughs> when we got to Africa, we were so excited. <laughs> it was really fun to just see their excitement at realizing the pictures of Africa that you see are really what's here today. We did the Okay, wait. Okay, I got it. <laughs> we did the... Wait, what is it called? We had been praying that God would let us see the hospital. It was really fun to see the results that our money went to. And we got to hold the first baby that was born there. It's so sad. What's her name? So her name is Gabriella. <laughs> she didn't have a boy, they couldn't name him Gabriel, so they chose Gabriella instead. When they told her about the new facility and the significance that Gabe and Livy had been so driven to make it happen, she named her little girl after Gabe, and they just had been praying so much that a baby would be born while we were here to just see a new little human being. It was just super honoring that they even thought about that and that they even knew who I was. It's not about the building. It really is about serving people and loving people. Oh yes, I like these much. It's overwhelming that the Lord chose my children to be part of his plan. And it's just nice to know that some of the babies are able to be alive because of the new equipment that the hospital has or the nicer sanitation. And it now is apparently one of the nicest hospitals in a really long distance. It's hard to even believe that these children could raise the money to do this. And it moves me to wonder, what can I do myself to help others and to improve the situation of others? It just demonstrates tremendous love to me. My heart was filled with joy when we heard this story and we discovered that these kids had done something like this for us. <laughs> God has taught me that he is big enough to do anything and we can do anything with our ordinary talents. Pretty amazing. I'll just say that, pretty amazing. Yeah.